Are you looking for peace of mind at your doorstep? Look no further. With the Blink Video Doorbell, your home's entrance is always within your control. Check out the link in the video description to learn more and get your Blink Video Doorbell on Amazon. Your home is in your hands. Charles Holman, an African-American lawyer, had been meticulously researching his family tree for more than 50 years when he uncovered a startling piece of information linking him to the Bush presidential family. Throughout his life, Holman, 66, gathered stories, birth and death certificates, Census Bureau records, and DNA matches. Through his legal training, he developed a thoroughness and a knack for connecting with strangers through letters, emails, and in-person meetings. Little by little, he managed to connect with distant relatives, both black and white, piecing together a family history that reflected America's complex and fraught racial past. During his research, Holman attended a gathering of white relatives who shared his surname and whose ancestors had enslaved his own. He visited three plantations where his ancestors had labored without compensation and stood in the tiny, cramped quarters where they likely lived, in the hope he might feel their presence. The discoveries altered Holman's perception of himself, his family, and their place in American history. A few years ago, Holman made a significant discovery in his study in Maryland when he found a 1992 Kentucky newspaper article about a family that included one U.S. president and would soon add another. The article with the headline, President George Bush Has Kentucky Connections, traced the lineage of then-President George H.W. Bush and his son George W. Bush to ancestors predating the American Revolution. Holman was familiar with the names of Bush's great-great-grandmother and her parents and managed to match them with deeds and inheritance records he had previously uncovered. The connection added a remarkable new dimension to his extensive family research. It was the coming together of things that I had been looking for for years, Holman said to the Washington Post. The newspaper article explained how George Herbert Walker Bush's ancestors had moved from Virginia to Kentucky in the late 1700s and early 1800s. Among the president's direct ancestors were Peter G. Forey and his daughter Lucretia Green Forey Holiday, who owned land in Anchorage, Kentucky. According to Holman's research, members of the Forey family who known to be the Bush's ancestors, enslaved members of the Thomas family, Holman's ancestors. The article was a breakthrough in piecing together his family tree. It was one of the greatest moments in my life, Holman said to the Post. George H.W. Bush's third great-grandfather was associated with at least 11 transatlantic slave crossings from West Africa. Last year, a Reuters investigation looked into the links between slaveholders and U.S. political elites. The chief of staff for former President George W. Bush acknowledged the findings that suggested there were 25 slaves owned by the Forey family. A great nation does not hide its history. It faces its flaws and corrects them. Bush said at the dedication of the National Museum of African American History and Culture, we can't move closer to our founding promise of equal opportunity without remembering the founding sin of slavery. That disturbing past inspires us to go farther and faster on the journey toward a better future of liberty and justice for all. Genealogical research like Holman's is a popular pursuit for many Americans but for descendants of enslaved people, the task is often challenging due to sparse record-keeping which frequently consists only of first names recorded in property ledgers. The fact that Holman was able to draw a direct line between the Bushes and his own ancestors is astonishing. I think the fact that he was able to put this together was pretty amazing, forensic genealogist Catherine O'Connell said. Holman has revealed he has since written letters to George W. Bush, Jeb Bush, Laura Bush and daughter Jenna Bush Hager, who is a television presenter with Today, but has so far not received any replies. Despite the lack of response from the Bush family, Holman says he has been buoyed by the tales of old he has been hearing which have been passed down through the generations. One story was about how Robert Anderson Thomas, Holman's great-great-grandfather saw some cherry pies for the, the slave owner's wife sitting on the windowsill when he was overcome by temptation. Robert Anderson Thomas, my great-great-grandfather, saw the pies, could smell them, but knee.